everybody, we are here on location in Ruma's kitchen today. She has been writing a beautiful column, a very popular column on our website. She has been sharing recipes with our audiences and today we actually took up on her offer to come in and look at how she actually prepares these wonderful dishes. And the dish that she's going to start off with for today is a meatball curry with turkey as her meat. So welcome to Foundations TV, Ruma. Thank you, thank you a lot and thanks for coming to my kitchen. Absolutely. And uh, giving me the opportunity to be the host at here. Absolutely, TV. absolutely, looking forward to it. So um, we are going to be, you're going to be showing us the meatball curry today? Yes, yeah. So can you tell us something about the curry? How did you come up with this recipe? First, when I came to USA, and I see like USA uh, American people, they love uh, meatball uh, pasta, and like kids loves it, and yeah. people, even adults like That's it too. Right. Yes. So then I thought, okay, why don't I make something Indian way? Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And then um, so what I did, I I, I figured out how to make the meatball. I was on my own, I just uh, yeah. And I have a very healthy way to make the meatball. You will see. Okay. And then I cook it, I make a meatball and then I cook it like a, a chicken curry, it's like a meatball curry. Excellent. Excellent. And then my kids love it. Yeah. They grew up with it. Yeah. And they still love it. They still love it. Yeah. Oh, my son <laughs> comes home and he wants I have to make it. And yeah. the funny, he goes to college. So right. yeah, when he is there, we don't cook it. Oh. Because we just say, okay, when he comes, then we eat it together. Nice. So that's his favorite dish. That is wonderful. So looks like you have everything ready, so we are good to go and we're going to watch how you cook it. Yes, yeah. I'll <laughs> um, tell you what are the ingredients I'm going to use. I'm using here one pound of ground turkey and um, I have whole cumin seeds, one teaspoon, uh, turmeric, one teaspoon, and I have um, ginger powder, one teaspoon, and um, um, cumin powder one teaspoon and I need um, uh, one one teaspoon of um, this is garlic powder and uh, this one is um, chili uh, like I am using very little chili and this is like a one fourth teaspoon of chili and for garam masala I'm using whole garam masala uh, four, four cardamoms and um, um, cloves I have uh, like six or seven and then one inch of um, um, cinnamon okay so for that's the trick I was talking about the, uh, the way I make the meatballs I boil them in hot water uh, the boiling water so that the meatball becomes uh, the, all the fats it comes out of the meatball and it goes to the uh, in, uh, in the hot water so I'm starting my hot water Because if they are so that way, the salt will uh, get infused in the uh, meatballs. So, the meatballs, what I'm doing, I just um, first I want need to mash it. So I'm using a potato masher. So first, I'm not adding anything, anything in the meatballs. So it's just the meatballs.
pan where I'm going to cook. So I'm going to add in that pan two tablespoons of When the oil gets heated, I will add one teaspoon of cumin. As you see here, see all the all the fats are coming out out of the meat. So sometimes uh, in the sound of the when people make uh, in USA the meatballs they put it in the oven or sometimes they deep fry but I find this process is really good and healthy because you are boiling it and all the fat is coming and getting rid of the uh, in the process of boiling so fat is now in the water the boiling water so I think this is the best way to get uh, get rid of the fat out of the meat uh, the ground meat Now I come to this my as you see look at this um, the boiled uh, meatballs so I'm taking this out one by one because I just want to get rid of the, the fat and the meatballs those are now boiled. Masala is getting dry when you start boiling and it's getting drier. So I'm gonna add, now I'm adding one potato here. I cut one potato and that's it and then adding it here. Now I will add a little bit of salt. So there was no salt added in this masala before, right? No, no salt. You're adding it only now? now. As you see, like the has been cooked, uh, the, getting, the masala paste is getting thicker. So now I'm adding my the meatballs. Meatballs are getting mixed. Meatballs are getting mixed in this the masala, and uh, the heat is always high. I'm cooking it in. I cook it um, in this way say two minutes so that the masala gets into the meatballs and potatoes and everything and then I will add water to make the gravy. Now I'm adding my 
garam masala. I use the whole garam masala here. Three kinds: um, cinnamon, cloves, and um, cardamom. because my masala is getting sticky at the back, bottom so I say I added one cup so no onions or tomatoes? no, I didn't do that this is actually the taste will be coming I, after eating for a long time turkey and other meats I found that uh, um, um, turkey meat has a special it has a special taste that is very different than uh, uh, like other meats. So in this one it doesn't need anything. It's mostly jeera based. When you taste the uh, gravy, you will find like the jeera taste a lot. And everything used um, as I said, uh, um, like I like to cook very fast and. This is a faster way to cook as I uh, so this will take like 20 minutes to cook. Keep it uh, covered from now on and I will lower the heat um, say 30 minutes, 30 seconds I will keep the heat on because I want the all the uh, paper come and then all the pressure, the heated pressure um, grows here. And then when the um, and then after 30 seconds, I will lower the heat. I'll put it in simmer and then in the simmer I keep it uh, say 10 minutes and then it will be done. So while she's cooking this, I am already hungry and I can't wait to try this dish. It looks amazingly tempting. And uh, how hot is the uh, uh, smell? It's smelling awesome. That's what's making me hungry. <laughs> it's really smelling very authentic, very Indian. And that's what is surprising to me. There's no onions, there's no tomatoes. And yet it has that Indian smell and the Indian flavor to it. So I can't wait to try it. Oh. <laughs>